And we're back and we're completely ready to start the feud. We've got all our kebabs, we've got all the items we need, all the runes, fire stuff, ready to cast fire strike on these noobs. Let's go. There we are. Oh, the quest's almost done. We're on our first fight. And I've just been reading and apparently this guy has really high magic defense, which is just what we needed. So, that's fantastic. Yeah, shouldn't take too long. He disappeared. Oh my god. He's just fucking disappeared. What a fucking joke. My um of course I used the one thing he's got like a massive defense on. Um I might as well just try again, see if I can do it. Do you know what? This is I'm not gonna kill him. I'm gonna have to come back again when I've got a higher magic level. A joke. Do you know what though? I don't know why people get iron equipment and van braces when they don't need any of that shit. They can just come here and start splashing and AFK. He's on 12 hit points. I might do it this time. 12 hit points. 30. 4 hit points. Come on. One more cast. Just one more. Oh no. He's gonna disappear again, I can feel it. Fuck this game. I knew it! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm nothing to say. What I'm gonna do is um, go to Alcarid, keep using kebabs as food and just thie thieving off the guards for um, gold. Builds up a decent stack. Just start training fire strike on um, creatures <laughs> until me me magic's higher because I can't do anything. I, I I can't hit through the magic defense. Right, twenty two magic. Got a decent amount of runes. Get some kebabs and we'll try it again. Hopefully this time we finally can kill the geezer. It's actually going to happen again. I can't believe it. Uh, 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 what? Oh no, he's healed again. Oh, we've done it! Oh. <laughs> Let's bury his bones. See you later. And now just the other one. Um, thankfully the other guy shouldn't be <laughs> as hard. There we go, this is much easier. Met him right through the guy. Well, I was. See, that's more like it. My god, why couldn't the first fight have been more like this? Quest would have been over ages ago. I cannot believe that fight was that easy compared to the first one. And an Addy skim. There we go, that's decent, that's some for good, that, that, that'll be decent for some good training. There we go, quest finally complete, and we can start, um, now we've finally got access to a really decent money maker, and really good thieving XP. 48 thieving. Do you know what I'm thinking now is I might build up a nice little stack of gold, Get on to do, doing a bit of construction, get that up, get a little house going, get money for for more runes, train up my magic a little bit, and then um, I'll go on and use my magic for more quests. Ah, look at this. Home sweet home. I got my house, and I remembered exactly why I don't like construction. Because this is it. Got five construction. I want to build a kitchen, but I haven't got the money. So I'm going to keep building chairs and fireplaces and, and bookcases until I've got 10 construction. 
and then I think I'll I'll, I'll be all construct and constructions out, and I'll I'll go on to do some quests, uh, some even harder quests. And last one now. Here we go. Ten construction. Now we can build the dining room. And so I'm feeling now. I'm I'm feeling we might do Tree Gnome Village, the Grand Tree, and all and all that. And all them um, quests for the XP. So um I'll see you again at the Tree Gnome Maze. Here we are at the maze. Started the quest, got the items in need. Let's let's see how we do against the level 112. We're here. We're ready for the final showdown. Without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Stop! I've I've come for the orbs. Now give them to me. Uh, I'm not, I can't remember where the safe spot is. Is it? Up? It's not up here. It's just. Oh no! Where is it? <laughs> Where did Oh no I forgot him here <laughs> Why is he stuck there <laughs> I mean It's not the most practical safe spot Since he's so far away Preferably we'd want to be closer But do you know what I'm not complaining as long as we kill him and he doesn't keep respawning like the other fella. And there we go, he's dead. As the war wolf falls, there the two orbs. There they are. Orbs of protection. And we'll be respectful and bury, bury him. And there we go. Rest in peace. I'll see you when we're back at the king to finish the quest. The orbs of protection come to rest gently in the branches of the ancient spirit tree. And there we go. This should be it done now. Well, after this. Here we go. 11k attack XP, 2 quest points and the amulet of protection. And 29 attack. One off and we can use our Adi skim. 21 combat. So, just started the waterfall quest and... I've also decided, at the same time, because they're, they're quite near each other, I'm going to do the Grand Tree as well, and this should give us fat combat, e combat XP, which will make us a nice high level, and everyone can start attacking us, which is just what we want. So, let's get them both done. It's all led to this. I'm ready. Let's come up to the end of the quest. We're about to fight the demon. Just down here. I don't know why the, the demon's just taking all this punishment. Look how long his arms are. Surely he could just reach over, grab me, and just shove me into his mouth. It's not like I'm wearing anything metal. Here we go. One last hit. Come on, one more. Alright, now one more. Here we go. Oh, mummy. <laughs> that is mummy. Do you know what? I know this is the end of the quest, but I can already tell it's going to piss me off. Because my luck on this game's terrible. It, I'm going to search every single route, and then the last one, it, it's, it's going to have it. And I can tell. Oh! Do you know what? I actually got quite lucky there. Oh, there we go. Five quest points. 8k agility, 19k attack, well, 18k attack XP, and 2k magic XP. 42 agility, 38 attack, 27 magic. Oh, we're two off, and then we can start wielding rune weapons. 24 combat. Also, super fun fact that I learned recently. If you talk to this ranged woman instructor, you can toggle it, so... Whenever you pick up ammos, it, uh, ammos. Whenever you pick up arrows, it automatically puts it in your quiver. There we go. Waterfall quest complete. Thirty-one strength, forty-one attack, and thirty-one combat level. Oh no! Now up to level forty-six is can attack us, which is going to be brutal.
I've been really enjoying my time questing, actually. And I'm thinking I might as well just get as many of them out the way as I, as I can be bothered doing while I, I'm just in, like, a questing mood. So I'm feeling, do Monk's friend, then Druidic Ritual, and then I can do Recruitment Drive because I need an empty inventory for that. And, you know, there's not many moments on an Ultimate Iron Man where... I'm going to be able to have an empty inventory, especially the longer I leave it, you know, and I'll have, you know, the more likely I'll have more valuable items on me. So, best to get it over and done with now. Right, this is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing. I hope to see you again soon for the next episode. So... I'll see you then.